Okay, so this is an attempt to explain kinematics. Uh, it's my first go. Got five minutes. Not convinced I'm going to be able to get it done in five minutes. Okay, but the idea behind kinematics is we've got three different states that we're interested in. We're interested in distance. We're interested in velocity. I'm not allowed to call it speed. And we're interested in acceleration. So those are my three states. And I've got letters that go with them. So I've got S, I've got V, and I've got A. Don't ask me why it's S. Obviously D was being used at the time when we were doing this. Okay? And we know that if I have a distance time graph so normally distance is up there so let's put s and time there the gradient tells me the velocity they're traveling at because distance divided by time is velocity so if i differentiate distance i get velocity and we also know that if I suddenly change that and make that a, a velocity time graph and I look at the gradient, that's the acceleration. So if I differentiate again, I get acceleration. So if I'm doing differentiation, then I get from distance to velocity and velocity to acceleration. So if also works that if I anti-differentiate acceleration I get velocity anti-differentiate now of course I'm still being good and not calling it integration because you know that word is apparently banned so if I differentiate distance, I get velocity. If I differentiate velocity, I get acceleration. If I have acceleration, I want to work out velocity. I can anti-differentiate. Remember, I need some information about that to get the constant. If I'm interested in velocity and I want, to, or if I've got the velocity and I want to get the distance, I can anti-differentiate and get that. So there you go. I've got a rocket launched from a pad and flies in space. It's vertical distance. Oh, they try to be clever. Not called it S. They called it H. Travelled by the rocket. T seconds after it starts moving is this. Awesome. Find the acceleration of the rocket after 15 seconds after it's launched. So that told me the time. And it's between my 0 and 20, so that's all good. So I've got dH by dt is minus 2 plus 1.5 t squared. Remember, I'm still using multiply by the power, take one away from the power. So that is my velocity. I know I need the acceleration, so I need to do dv by dt. So the minus 2 disappears and I get 3t. And that's it. And that equals my acceleration. I know t equals 15. So, my acceleration equals 3 lots of 15, which is 45. Now, this is meters per second squared, because it's an acceleration. And that is kinematics. Now, there will be a second video on kinematics to look at when I anti-differentiate, to show you how you can work out a distance if they don't give you all the information. But really, it's not as hard as you guys seem to make it. Keep believing. Right, second kinematics video coming shortly.